and gentlemen, Philips have the honor and pleasure to present to you the newest, most amazing and irresistible superstar of the century, the optical video disc. And to start with, Sir Home Education. In a moment or two, he'll tell you everything about this triumphant technological discovery, the optical video disc. I said in a few moments, because right now, we'd like you to meet Miss Entertainment, who... <coughs> Miss Entertainment. Uh, I say, would you mind keeping quiet for a second, please? Thank you so much for Miss Entertainment. But now, may we present Mr. Forward Reverse, who can make the picture on the disc run forwards or backwards. You see, forwards. backwards. And now your special attention uh, for Mr. Single Frame, who can stop the action any time so that you can look at every frame separately, frame by frame by frame. And now combine forward reverse with single frame and you can view your video program moving forwards or backwards or standing still. <laughs> and that's unique, because it's impossible with any other system. In short, the video player, home education, entertainment, forward reverse, single frame, and the optical video disc, well, that's what it's all about. And oh, this um, fellow with the axe, well, uh, such simple brains did not invent the video disc. So home education will explain it all, but... We'll try to make it easier for you, because the optical video disc is really a very simple medium. And as is often the case with simple solutions, first you need a bunch of bright brains to grasp the problem in the right way. The question is... How can you devise or invent a new way of recording picture and sound so that every possible piece of information is available for any purpose at any time, at any required speed, for every possible taste and preference, leaving all other systems far behind, but at the same time, satisfying everybody? you start with what you've already got, splitting a picture into video lines. Now, we've done this for years for television. And as you know, we can transpose the characteristic information from every video line into waves. And if we only had a way of storing these waves to record them somewhere, then we would be ready. Of course, you can reproduce the waves on the upper surface of a solid material. And for instance, scan these waves by mechanical means. And so retain the original picture. But, oh dear, anything which is mechanical is liable to wear and tear. In fact, it's all rather old-fashioned and out-of-date. And especially in the case of the very sensitive picture reproduction, this wear and tear can lead to the most horrible interferences. But then someone got a brilliant idea. He said, listen, we only need the length of the waves to reproduce the characteristic information. 
If every wave should become a, well, let's say a small mirror of that particular length, then we should only have to look at these mirrors to get back the information. Well, in reality, it's a bit more complicated than that. But to simplify the matter, we'll just talk about mirrors. A mirror you only have to look at, then provide a bundle of light, and when the mirror reflects the bundle of light, our eye sees what happens. That goes for one of the mirrors, but also for a whole row. The bundle of light contacts the mirrors, strikes back. The reflected light impulse is transposed into a wave which is recorded. So there is nothing to wear out. And if we do that fast, very fast, very extremely madly fast, then we've got the optical video disc. Billions of mirrors contain all information about light, color, and about the sound, and even that in two channels. This is the slice of reality, everlasting, because in a mirror, you can keep looking as long and as often as you like, an undisturbed picture. As we already said, very simple indeed. But what does all that imply? For instance, you can buy a video disc with your own favorite program, Olympic Games, you say the word, here you've got all the important sport events together on your own video disc in your own house for your own program. It's up to you. The choice is unlimited. Exactly what we had in mind. But you don't have to restrict yourself to one disc. Of course, you can compile your own video record collection. With, for instance, complicated handiworks like weaving, you can learn step by step from your video screen. Those old slapstick programs. the latest fashion. And in your company, your employees can learn by way of the video disc how a particular process is done. And if the new kind of flying has your interest, the video disc can teach you a lot about it. But in order to look at the video disc, you will need, of course, the video disc player. How does it work? Well, let's have a look at the interior. First, we have the source of light, a small laser beam. And as you know, a laser beam can be focused very precisely. With a few lenses, and by way of a prism, the light is projected on the reflecting surface of the disc, on which there are billions of small indentations, and reflected by this surface. And every reflected portion of light will be transposed into an electrical impulse. By the protective layer of plastic, scratches or dust will be kept out of the focus of the light beam, while the light beam guides itself to follow the track very precisely. The row of indentations is so tightly rolled up that one disc contains tens of miles of length. Our light point scans the spiral from the middle. Every rotation of the disc is at least one picture. And now you will understand how we achieve stop frame. Stop the light point on one winding of the spiral. And when we put the light beam in the other direction, we get the scenes backwards, forwards, backwards, slowly forwards, fast forwards, backwards, very fast forwards. 
Each picture has its own code number, so we can select any picture or paragraph we want extremely fast. Just imagine an encyclopedia of, say, 45,000 pages, out of which you can select every page on the screen by one push of the button, so the disc can be viewed frame by frame. But if we just let the separate pictures proceed at a normal speed, like on film or tapes, we get this effect. And it doesn't have to be only still pictures. It's just as easy, using the same code, to call up a moving scene with the sound that goes with it. Every picture could also be a page full of text, like a catalogue, a book, or a card system. By one point of light, you can get the whole world into your living room. 24 hours a day, the biggest show on Earth. A half-hour program, one hour, up till two hours. You decide just what you want. That's how simple it is with the Philips Video Disc. It's up to you to choose between Miss Entertainment and Home Education. Entertainment. Education. Entertainment. Education. You say the word. Everything is possible now. Thanks to the video disc.